all right friends we are back to e-commerce and we're working on the chapter 7 e-commerce security and fraud protection now as you know that the online environment online e-commerce environment is very susceptible or very vulnerable to fraud and uh, any kind of you know dishonest or cyber criminal activity in this chapter we will highlight all those activities all those possibilities even though it is impossible impossible to define every kind of criminal activity that can be uh, that can occur on the online environment because of the you know versatile or the because of the unpredictable uh, nature of human intelligence people still keep coming up every single time that you create a security or a fraud uh, protection algorithm or any kind of check validation or any kind of uh, software you develop to protect yourself there will be always something higher that will get, come and get you that will come and get your data so security and fraud protection algorithm and software is only say only viable or only ap applicable for a limited period of time over the time you have to keep revising in iterations you have to keep coming up with versions and you have to keep developing more secure methods uh, as you know uh, to keep up with the fraud methods coming up fraud methods detected by uh, the rest of the world case studies are always being published which describe and demonstrate the way fraud had taken place over a very secure network and these case studies have to be studied in order to be able to implement uh, security measures on your own website now this is only possible if you hire a secure security in, uh, forensics and security services provider uh, for your website this is only possible when you hire an expert so usually the web hosting service providers they th it is their job to provide a security uh, socket layer secure server layer that is very very strong and better than what they had last year so it is better to go with a web hosting service that is famous or popular or has a higher rating for security okay so just to let you know how vulnerable we are in the online environment you never assume that you're always safe always uh, it's always be better to you know uh, conceal anything that's uh, private and keep things very very professional in the online environment okay we will discover why in this chapter okay if you look at the learning objectives we have a bunch of learning objectives here so by the end of this chapter you should be able to you should be able to work on understanding the importance and scope of security of information systems for electronic commerce okay the kind of the level of security the level of uh, uh, the uh, the breadth or the vastness of the scope for security for information systems you will be able to find out how these can be implemented describe the major concepts and terminology of electronic commerce security you should be aware of all of these terminologies even if you are not a security major student or a pro professional because you need to be able to understand and appreciate the kind of security you're receiving from your web hosting service provider learn about the major electronics uh, commerce security threats vulnerabilities and technical attacks you should be able to identify these attacks if you're having because you are ultimately the uh, back-end user of your website and you're ultimately the receiver of all the forms that have been completed on your website any kind of emails that you receive on your website any kind of comments you receive it you get the updates so if you're getting if you notice something funny happening for example um, I will show you an example of uh, really really mysterious activity on my website and I will tell you what I did about it and it was only because I had the knowledge that whatever is happening right now is not right some kind of a virus or a robot is attacking my website and it is trying to uh, make a lot of subscriptions 
okay make a lot of registrations i'm sorry not subscriptions registrations i will show you that instance in as we get to that point but for 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 now i'm trying to tell you that if you don't know what's wrong you will never be able to complain about it okay which is why this chapter is very essential for all electronic commerce business uh, providers or business uh, per, per personals understand internet fraud phishing and spam describe the information assurance security principles identify and assess major technologies and methods for securing electronic commerce access and communications describe the major technologies for protection of electronic commerce networks describe various types of controls and special defense mechanisms describe consumer and seller protection from fraud we're going to discuss all of this describe the role of business continuity and disaster recovery planning in uh, in case where your site is down or site is blocked or site is hacked what do you do you need to have an alternative plan the show must go on that kind of thing you should be able to continue your business you should be able to continue your transactions without any problems discuss electronic commerce security securities enterprise wide implementation issues understand why it is not possible to stop computer crimes okay so this is something that i was trying to tell you why it is not possible to stop computer crimes and uh, you by the end of this chapter you will have a very good idea why okay just hang in there and let's begin the chapter the information security problem in the online environment what is information security protecting information and information systems from unauthorized access use disclosure disruption modification per perusal inspection recording or destruction okay all of these are nouns here and uh, adverbs actually what i wanted to do is if you want to pause this video how i teach in my own classroom is i just if there is any word or t any word that you cannot understand just google it and try to understand because this definition is simple simple and easy to understand the words are you know the variety of words used uh, actually describes the kind of uh, activities that are uh, that that compromise information security so any any of these activities here unauthorized access disclosure disruption modification perusal inspection recording or destruction any kind of an un unauthorized like you don't belong in a network and you're still there that's unauthorized that is a compromise of information security so what is electronic commerce security computer crime and security survey okay csi computer crime security survey of united states um this is a survey annual survey that is sent out to many security service providers and they fill out this survey it has a bunch of questions and the consensus derived from these bunch of questions was that the annual security survey of united states for corporations government agencies financial and medical institutions and universities conducted by computer security institute okay and these institutes they try to inform the public what kind of security measures have been held into place and how effective they were what kind of improvements have been suggested what kind of problems have been encountered and how those problems have been solved so the, this is just like you know this is an attempt to inform or warn the electronic commerce community to how to keep themselves safe this survey is a very important piece of info of information that has a lot of information for you know researchers security researchers to develop better security programs so the information security problem are many the ones in bold are the ones that you need to count personal security national security security risks okay this is a bit outdated we can still have it at this time security risks for this year for any year given year cyber wars cyber espionage cyber crimes 
across borders, types of attacks, corporate espionage that plagues businesses around the world, political espionage and warfare. Okay, this word is used again and again. And let me try to explain it to you through Google. Okay, espionage, this is a very good way. If you cannot understand a word in your lecture, just pause it and then Google the word and then continue the lecture. So I've wanted to explain it the official way. This is how you can do a self-study by yourself. Espionage and also get it translated in your own language. It always helps. Noun is the practice of spying of using spies, typically by governments to obtain political and military information. Okay, espionage is something that is um bordering on illegal and illegal there's a fine line but still people do it to spy so that they can compete with the rest of the world okay and you need to pretend put protect your data from such kind of spies okay so it is synonymous to spying undercover work cloak and dagger activities surveillance and uh, all of these activities here all right, uh, where will we? Okay, types of attacks. Corp uh, okay, we just did that. Let's look at the major electronic commerce security management concerns for 2011 in the descending importance. Now, this is 2011. The reason why we include this here is to be able to understand the kind of problems that existed six, seven years ago and they still continue to exit, exist in this current age and time. Fraud in electronic commerce transactions. Look at this. It's the most. Least is the data leaks. Intrusion, detection and prevention. Employees negligence and waste of time. Data protection, pri privacy protection. Protection for customers and employees. Business continuity, handle interruptions, recovery, security strategy and sufficient budget, prevention and detection of malware, which is virus, worms and trojans, fraud in electronic com commerce transactions. So what do you think in the current age and time, 2016, 2017, what security problem should be placed at the top? Okay, think about it. And if you have, if you if you can, you can post your comments. I will be happy to give you feedback on it. Okay. And another thing, you can also Google this security, EC security management concerns for 2016. You can Google it and see if you find something. Okay, moving on, the information security problems, the drivers of electronic commerce security problems are the Internet's vulnerable design. That is the main problem here. When we first started using uh, the Internet, uh, you know, back in 1980s, 1970s, it actually began. Um, late 1960s, the defense, uh, uh, American defense system, they started using the Internet. The design of the internet was not secure and that's the foundation and fundamentals of internet it has evolved over the years but the design is still vulnerable anybody can penetrate with a little bit of programming experience they can penetrate easily domain name system is the translates or converts domain names to their numeric internet protocol addresses the numeric inter internet protocol addresses are not also not very secure Okay, the string or combination of numbers are not very secure and it's easy to hack into IP addresses and get inside someone's system. IP address and address that uniquely identifies each computer connected to a network or the internet. Okay, the other one is the shift to profit induced crimes. Just like you have crimes that are, you know, real and physical crimes with real and physical punishments. The shift to profit induced crimes like organized heist, organized uh, bank uh, robbery, organized uh, home robbery and all of those murders that are happening, uh, the uh, antique paint and uh, other items, you know, stealing of those and then selling them, collector's items, stealing collector's items and selling them in some other country. These are all profit for profit induced crimes in the same way. 
you have profit induced crimes in the online environment as well and there's a big shift witnessed over the past years okay let me end my video at this point i will continue more very very interesting and exciting information ahead about security and fraud so stay tuned and see you shortly